what do you want to get out of tomorrow night? To get better. Uh, we want to see where we're at. See where we're at. So play against this team and you know go out there and put forth what we've been practicing. All our principles on defense. Um, see where our strengths and our weaknesses are at. You know, and improve from there because we have to be. Um, close to our best, not our best, but be close to our best at the beginning of the season because we have a rough non-conference schedule. There's a lot of expectations with you this year. You know, uh, how are you handling that? And are you hearing from some of the other guys? I'm sure Isaiah's called you as well. Uh, I've just been taking it day by day and trying to get better, uh, being the best leader I can be on the floor and trying to be the best player I can be. You know, we're trying to keep a winning tradition going. So, you know, we're trying to keep a winning you know, attitude around here. So we're just getting better each day in practice. Some of the offseason stuff from some of the other, you know, alumni guys and the pro guys have been helping you quite a bit. Do you what to expect taking on that leadership role this year? Yeah, yeah, I've talked to them and they just say to uh, keep pushing your guys and, you know, keep, keep them with positive attitudes. You know, that's the main thing is keeping our guys, you know, always with positive attitude and keep getting better each day. You know, because sometimes you can have a little lag, you know, long practice and stuff like that. So keep positive attitude, positive attitude in practice, you know, keep getting beat getting better you know. is it work or is it coming naturally to you? I mean coming naturally you know and uh, you know the guys really listen you know it's not like guys are taking it as I'm trying to criticize them at all you know so I'm embracing the role and the guys are kind of taking it on as like yeah he's just seeing captain he's just gonna help us get better coach Jackson said you're coming off a single double rub screens uh, even post on occasion are you finding different spots for yourself in this offense than in the past? Yeah, uh, there's different spots for me to score. Uh, just different spots for me to make plays for my teammates for us to have uh, best scoring opportunities. Are you actually going to take? Are you going to post up guys at all? Is that part yeah. of the process? Yeah, at times. Yeah. You know, it just depends on what play we run. But yeah, at times, uh, if I have smaller guys in our in our conference that we play against or non-conference, or whatever, there'll be times where I'll be able to post up. And your comfort level doing that as well. Yeah good yeah <laughs> and uh, it seemed like for this offense to, to work that, that like you really had to buy in you know like having spent four years in a different offense and then to totally make that switch yeah. so was that transition difficult for you uh nah just because for me like that's one of my strengths is picking up offices quickly or you know picking up what the coach wants me to do quickly so uh, i got a i kind of got a head start on it this summer because I, I was kind of here this summer and working out with coaches and stuff like that so he kind of uh, already had me uh, looking at it uh getting different shots out of it and working on uh what shots i would have or what spots guys need to be in so i kind of got a head start on it picked it up kind of is, is it is is there more that you can do to learn it other than play can you study that can you Talk to other guys, I, I, or is it just about well, we just gotta play and play. And play. Well, we're, that's why tomorrow will be a good test for us to see to play and see you know where the strengths and weaknesses that are with it. Um, you definitely have to have good timing with it, so you gotta keep working on it. Um, but there's different ways to guard it too, so you gotta have film and know how a team is gonna defend it, so you can execute as a player. And there's always a counter to each one. And Coach Jackson said there's kind of a process of. All right, understanding what's happening and then having it become kind of automatic and then on top of that, kind of being able to freestyle, freelance a little bit in the whole process. Where do you think you guys are in those kind of steps? Uh, we're in the mix. Uh, I think it's more towards trying to get it first. Um, a lot of us are already kind of starting to understand it now. It's, now it's kind of like we're trying to get more reps, so it's kind of like second nature to us. So we're trying to get to, we're at that stage right now, trying to rep it, rep it a lot, just so we can get it to where it's like second nature. And then if a, if a person defends it one way, we can just counteract it. How different is it with these new coaches? Is it a different atmosphere of practice? What do they bring to the table? Is it a little bit different? Is it weird not having Coach Chill? I mean, yeah, it's different. Uh, they're different guys, but um, we respect them because they're head coaches and we know that uh, you know, they're trying to help us get better. And so we listen to whatever they have to say. You know, Coach Jackson has something to say. We all listen. Uh, we know he was in the championship before. Uh, Coach Lamont, I uh, listen to him when he has something to say too. He's very energetic and great guy off the court too. So, I mean, we're just trying to get better. And we, we listen to those guys because they're trying to make us get better.